Hello everyone and welcome back to Russ Rocket Nation. Once again, my name is Junior. Uh, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, me and my friend Willie are working on a bump and run car. So today we're going to be taking a look at the car. We're going to be pulling out like the carpets and the headliner and trying to bust the back glass and uh, doing a bunch of stuff to get it ready for the race here in about two days if it doesn't rain out. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so there it is. It's a, I want to say 97 Buick LeSabre. Willie's been doing some work to it already. It's got window nets and most of the interior is gone. Uh, I got to pull the headliner, pull the carpet, pull the rear seat belts, uh, start dumping some of this garbage into the trash. And then <clears throat> we have to get rid of that back glass before we can run in a bump and run race. But uh, no taillights, no light bar, no nothing there. No headlights, no anything there. Probably going to pull this front bumper cover. But uh, the grill may stay. It depends on if we need to take it out or not, but I don't think we do. But we're going to figure out and well let's get started well the rear seat belts should be simple enough they're held in place with that uh t45 bit right there thank you harbor freight and another one down there that looks like it's going to be significantly more fun to break loose but then the rear seat belts will come out i'll do that on this side and on the other side and then i'll get back to you guys all right, rear seat belts are out and on the ground. Uh, front seat belts have to stay in because I don't know something about not dying when you crash. Uh, so, you know, if anybody needs some ridiculously large bolts for comparison, there's my hand and a ratchet. Uh, let me know, we, we have a couple. So next step is the headliner. And the only real question is whether I'm gonna pull that trim and actually pull it out the right way or whether I'm going to use this here razor blade and just get it out of the way the easy way uh stay tuned I'll let you know well I guess I'm going to pull that pillar trim and then pull the headliner the only two problems I can see oh because it's got to come out anyway the only two problems I can see is uh I don't have a plastic trim pry bar and the seat I need to sit in uh, just so happens to be full of broken glass. So if anyone Christian is watching this, pre please pray for my butthole because it's probably gonna have uh, glass just, just up in there. And of course, while looking around in the car, I just so happened to find a plastic pry tool for people who don't care. So, <laughs> let's get this started. Well, I took off the rubber door trim and the plastic trim from that pillar. And it appears that beyond a few plastic clips I'm going to have to get out, which is, well, that one just fell out and so did that one. Uh, the only thing holding that headliner up now is hopes, dreams, and I'm pretty sure there's a clip beyond here, behind here somewhere judging by the look of the other side so I'm going to break this trim down but then the entire thing should come out so check back with you in a second so there's the culprit on that side and there's the culprit on that side but beyond those two maybe the uh maybe the center bit there and then I'm pretty sure there's probably a clip or something in the back there but that's all we need before this uh headliner is ready to come out all right so now the back seat bolts seat belts sorry back seat belts headliner and lights uh the up front lights and the little bit of wiring that goes through them is out so that's a lot cleaner looking now onto the mess of carpet and let's see the clothes and underwear and 
random things that you find in an abandoned slash drug dealer vehicle. Okay, uh, front carpet and some additional bits are out, giving us a much more clean and concise working space. Uh, still probably gonna have to pull out this, I guess, sound deadening. No, because that's sound deadening right there. I guess this is just for comfort. I don't know, but it's gotta come out, but it's a start. All right, the carpet matting's pulled along with all the water that came with that. There's still a little bit in the floor here, but uh, that's pretty much the front done. We have a lot of exposed wires that we're probably gonna have to chase down and figure out what we don't need because, oh, like that's a hell of a harness. And there's some harnesses there too, but for now, we're just trying to make it through the first race. So I pulled the, um, there we go, the rest of it, the vent that runs to the back is pulled, carpet's pulled and matting's pulled. Well, while cutting the carpet in the rear across and uh, dodging around the underwear and dirty clothes, I did find a bit of good news, and that, if you follow me around here, is that, pardon me, pile of parts, that we don't need to fix the torque converter lockup because it came with a thing of ATF. We'll just dump some fluid in it and call it good. I'd say we should be fine. Well, this time, uh, the floor mat came out in many multiple pieces and we have a lot more standing nasty brown water but for the most part the back carpet and matting are out there's a little bit of matting right here around the seats that we'll have to get the trash can out here to empty out the back for but all in all it's a decent start all right, next I gotta find the grinder because I have to fix a little thing I call uh, Willie's trying to kill me. See, he's just leaving random self tappers out to hit my head when I'm riding right here. Death, life, death, life. All right, so I'm gonna go get a grinder and cut off that self tapper so that my uh, window net is still securely attached, but my head is not punctured by a self tapper. Okay, so the thing that's gonna poke me in the head to death is ground down. Now, honestly, I'm not really sure what to do until Willie gets back home in like an hour. So I guess I'm gonna take a short break and for you guys, it'll be instantaneous, but I'll hop back on here in a second. Okay, so me and Willie have been working on this for about another half a day, and here's what we got so far. Uh, pulled the AC condenser, got the hood to where it can be chained closed, got the doors to where they can be chained closed, cut out the rubber so we could pull the back glass, we got the exhaust cut off, some more wiring pulled out, other doors, uh, got the whole cut for the transponder and the transponder mounted a couple things zip tied up trash cleaned out and now what well, we got tire rear bumper cover and that should be about it so figured out why we don't have any brakes literally just pulled the fucking tire off no rotors no pads 
cool. Well, there it is. Now all we gotta do is get air in the tires, get gas, vacuum out some broken glass, and it will be ready for tomorrow. And of course, American flag, target on the back. Thanks for watching.